He's like, get away, get away. Anyways, what are we doing right now? We are going for lunch, hello there. Hello, so yeah, our first restaurant meal here. Let's make it happen in Zagreb. So you were sold by a couple items, what were they? Everything with truffles. <laughs> Everything with truffles. Polenta with truffles, Here pasta with truffles. Let's go in. Well, hello, hello. It is time for lunch here in Zagreb and we found a really cool restaurant like right around the corner from our Airbnb. This place, I believe, is called Fotic, but I can't be sure because I can't seem to pronounce anything correctly in Croatian. Um, but anyways, today we figured we would showcase some Croatian dishes and we're specifically going to be focusing on anything and everything with truffles. So I believe, Sam, you got a risotto. Yes. I got a polenta. And yeah, truffles are going to be like the main thing. Yeah. And yeah. another thing to mention is that truffles are usually expensive anywhere else in the world. But like they grow here, I don't know, like mushrooms. <laughs> or, well, I guess they are kind of a mushroom. But anyways, um, yeah, it's really popular, so you can find it in a lot of dishes, and it's not that expensive, so it should be a good meal. And of course, the wine is the first thing to arrive. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get into that. That just seems to be a standard now for us in Europe. Yes. We get our red wine, we get our dry reds before Ooh, the yes. meal even comes. And I believe this is the Plavak or Plavac grape. And this is the most common wine we found here in Croatia. And it's really good. It's something that we've been drinking at, at home. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and at restaurants with every meal, basically. <laughs> Gotta get that red, that daily glass of red in. What do you think? Yeah, that's really nice. It's yeah. really nice. It's, it's very strong, very full bodied. And um, yeah, it's just, this is such an exciting way to start the meal. It's like, wine is just part of our routine now, so yeah. we also, drink our Sam, wine. Also, Sam, you are looking pretty wolfy over there. Your head is turning into Mr. Afropop. Yeah, I'm in the Wolverine stage, and I think I'm going to keep rocking this for a couple more weeks. So. Yeah, for the rest of your Enjoy time it. in Croatia. Enjoy it, Audrey. <laughs> the bread has arrived. We got a really nice bread back accent. Basket. We got a nice bread <laughs> basket that showed up. So check that out. Oh my gosh, it's it, still warm. This, this, looks like, this must be complimentary. It is, and it looks so. like homemade bread. I'm gonna take these little oh. little nuggets. Can I call them that? Bread nuggets. Bread nuggets. Bread. I don't and, know what you would call that. Torn up bread. So like yeah, Jesus. and it comes with a set of garlic cheese, a fresh garlic cheese, and oh some gosh. coarse salt. Oh you gotta my gosh. love that. You gotta love that. I love homemade bread. I know. You can have it. Cheese. So we we already have we already have a we already have a carb heavy meal, but we, we always make the mistake if if we drop bread, we just can't resist. We just absolutely cannot mm. resist. Is it good? That's really good. I could easily fill up on that. And because we are trying to balance the carbs yes. over here, we yeah. ordered one little salad. Trying to get some fresh veggies and greens in our system. So Let's yeah, see. if you just take a look here, this is just the, the, the it's called the seasonal salad. So yeah. I guess it varies by uh, what time of the year it is. And we are very much into the fall. Yeah. So we're getting tomatoes. We have a little bit of cabbage and onion. We have, looks like some iceberg lettuce. Mm -hmm. And then over here, yeah. Looks just, like arugula as well. Yeah, some arugula. So we got a little bit of everything going on. It's just a very it's simple salad. Lettuce. I think there's already dressing on top. I'm not sure. Mm. Mm. He's chewing. Oh, wait, how's it here? <laughs> yeah, it's just been lightly. Um, not dusted, lightly sprinkled with <laughs> olive oil. Yeah, it's just nice to get some fresh veggies. It's just a very simple salad. It's yeah, very simple, but it's nice to get some veggies into our system. But really, we're waiting for the truffles. Oh, That's yeah. what we came for. Star of the show hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> this is just uh, this is just the beginning. Oh my goodness, guys. So the food is here and it looks amazing. So like I mentioned earlier, I ended up getting the polenta, which is really cool. They kind of cooked it in like a circular fashion and then sliced it. And in between, I have like this red cabbage. And also, then he came to the table and he brought his little truffle and he actually like sliced yeah. it onto my meal. Like, yeah. it was amazing. It's pretty phenomenal. So excited for this. Yeah. So yeah, let's dig in. And 
I'm gonna dig in with some truffle. Let's grab a little piece. Oh yeah, my grab, gosh, truffle. Grab a bit. Polenta and truffles. Mm. Oh my god. Good. I just love truffles. I've only had it a few times in my life. I think probably just in Italy, but it's so, so good. <laughs> it's like black gold. You, t you tend to like the finer things in life. Ooh, yes. Oh man. I want to just like shave off a little piece so I don't waste it. Go but seriously, more. like all you need is like a little piece and it has such a strong flavor. Mm. Wonder bar? And this is what we came for. This is what we came for, and exactly. This right here. Right and this, I should also try this, right? Yeah. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, and did I mention my, my dish has cheese? Some Parmesan cheese all over it. Oh, yeah, it we well. asked them to come over and, and put Parmesan cheese on it, too. That's right. Mm. That's really good. I think maybe it's just been like grilled lightly, so it's kind of crispy. Oh, yeah, this is such a wonderful, wonderful meal. So mm. far, so good, huh? truffle oil this has been grilled and then drizzled with truffle oil so i have like truffle oil and real truffle so can we say that's truffle tastic truffle tastic <laughs> that's pretty mm. so good sam's giving in my lunch yeah before i even try mine i'm gonna try yours so yeah. let's make sure I get some polenta. Get in there, but don't truffle. take too much truffle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm taking a lot of truffle. Don't, take, like, <laughs> don't worry. Slice. I've got, I've got, I've got to give my opinion. So. <laughs> oh man. Mm. For taste testing purposes. Whoa. What do you think? Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. Simply yeah. awesome. And what's so cool about this is like, I mean, the taste is obviously delicious, but. Just the presentation is beautiful. Yeah, it's just I would it's, agree. A, it's a work of art on the plate. Yeah, this is just uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic meal so far, and the service has been very good. Yes, um, just so attentive, and the food has come reasonably fast. And yeah, yeah. And next is, up, we're going in yes. for the risotto. Exactly. Ta -da! Okay, Sam. So yeah. time to try your main. So before I even try it, I've just got to talk about the procedure of this whole thing. Yeah. So it was plated at the table. So yeah, they, they came, came out with a yes. uh, with a pot. Yeah, it was like the saucepan, and they, they served it right on the plate. Yeah. And then they came and did the whole the whole truffle grating business yes. that they did on yours. Yeah. And then he asked me if I would like to have cheese, and I said, Yeah, of course. Yeah. So and he then came he back and grated you, cheese. He had to ask you, Is that enough? Because you weren't <laughs> saying stop. So oh yeah, he was just he was going going. I was I was busy filming. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, so it is going to be very cheese heavy. Um, anyways, let's try that. So I'm going to make sure I get a piece of truffle. Yeah. I'm going to dig down deep so I get a bit of everything here. And you got the risotto with prosciutto, pine yeah. nuts, and truffles. Yeah, it's got a lot going on. All right, let's, let's try that. I can't wait to try yours. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. What do you think? Wow. Well, I'm a huge risotto fan, and this is this is right up there with being really high quality. Like, they cooked it to perfection. The risotto itself is just cooked perfectly, and then on top of that, you got a creamy sauce. You've got you've got the meat. You've got all the cheese. You've got the truffles. It's just like it's it's something wonderful taking place. In your all right, mouth. I, I can smell that from over here. Oh so my gosh, that's so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm at a loss for words. I'm enjoying this so much. It's been so good. I will share this with you, but not too much. I'm actually getting the meat sweats over here. <laughs> okay. I need to take off my jacket. All right, so now it's time for me to try Sam's dish, which smells so good from across the table. Oh yeah, so you're gonna like go. this, Audrey. In we go. And you've just added to your cooking repertoire. You can now make a pretty darn good risotto. I sure can. Mm. But not quite as good as this yet, right? <laughs> well, maybe if I buy some truffles, I can take it to the next level. Isn't that so good though with the is, prosciutto? Isn't that next level or risotto though? Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. I feel the need to like protect this dish. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> I'm so good. No, we can share both plates. That's fair. It's just so like creamy I know. and cheesy. Yep. And hey, have I had truffle in your dish? No. Nope. I'm taking a big piece because you like took a whole sliver of mine. 
You know, whenever I think of truffles, I think of Meteor in Greece. You remember that place that just specialized mm. in, in mm. only truffles? We also had truffles there. All they, did, all they did was like truffles and mushroom mm. dishes. And Meteor. This is amazing. Both dishes are really good, yeah. but especially the risotto. Yeah. It's such a nice combination. I actually feel really good about this meal because normally one of us orders something better than the other, but I think both, both are equally good and we can enjoy uh, sharing both mm. dishes. Yeah. In this place, I got five stars in my yeah. books. So everything was amazing, but now it is time to choose our dessert. And yeah. they actually have a display case with all the cakes back there. Oh my gosh, that display case! Ooh, it's like that. it's like I should, call, I should call it the temptation case because there's a there's a lot of really good looking cakes yeah. and other desserts. But anyways, we're just gonna share one slice because that was a lot of food. And the one that's caught our attention for both of us is called the Svitina Torta. Yeah. Which has custard, chocolate, hazelnut, and Nutella. Yeah. Ooh. That sounds pretty darn good. Ooh. Let's it order does. that and let's both share it and enjoy it. So in we go. The cake has arrived. Check out all of those layers. Oh my. And some whipped cream. How's that? So creamy. So creamy. So, so creamy. It looks, it looks like especially decadent. And that describes it so well. Oh my gosh. You're speechless. That's how I know it's good. And you've had, this is your third bite without yeah. me having trying any. That's how <laughs> I know. Oh, that's another way I know it's good. But at the same time, it's like so light and fluffy. So it's like, you can eat lots of it. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna take a bite. There's only half the cake left, but that's all right. I've got some whipped cream. Why is only half the cake left, Sam? I think someone went to town on it. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> this meal almost makes me want to move to Croatia, like, permanently. So you can eat this all the time? Yeah, it's so good. All the different layers are so distinct and it's just like, yeah, it's one of those roll around on your tongue kind of bites. You just want to have it in your mouth as long as possible. It's just been a wonderful meal. We're very full and we plan to do a lot of sightseeing, but I, I feel, <laughs> feel, I like, feel a, like I need a siesta I feel like too. a rotund chicken that needs a okay. siesta. But anyways, the, the food has just been fantastic here. Oh my gosh. Mm. Time for price point. Yeah, sure. It's time for price point. So that came to 236 kuna, which was 30 euros in total, and basically 15 per person. And that was for two glasses of red wine, a salad to share, two mains, and a dessert to share. So pretty good value. And my gosh, the food was excellent here. We'd highly recommend this place. So yeah, I have a feeling we'll be back again. <laughs> <laughs>